Hello, my name is Jovita Molina, and this is my granddaughter, Citlali Garcia. Today we'll be reading this book by Pat Mora called The Remembering Day, with illustrations by Robert Casillas. We'd like to thank Piñata Book Press for letting us read this beautiful book. And um, just to let you know, it is a bilingual book, but we will only be reading it in English since it's kind of long. Um, but the Spanish translations were by Gabriela Vallesa Ventura. Dedications from the author says, For Theo, my great nephew, and Maya, my great niece, who will remember us. And the dedication from the illustrator says, To my lovely mother, Miriam. Look at all the tomatoes and squash we grew. Long, long ago, in a small village of the land now called Mexico, Bea and her family lived in their two-room home. It was made of clay and reeds. The family slept inside in hammocks. Bea and her grandmother, Mama Alma, liked to work in their garden together. When Bea's family worked in their small field, Bea and her grandmother worked in their garden. They smelled of flowers and herbs. They grew some flowers and lilies, vegetables too. They chatted with the lizards and the hummingbirds. Bea liked to walk around the garden humming and holding Mama Alma's hand. Bea had done this from the time she started to walk. Now, Bea helped her grandmother walk. Every year, Bea, I need your help more and more. I can help you. Mama Alma and Bea sat on their favorite big rock. Mama Alma patted Bea's hand. We sat on this rock together, Bea, since you were a baby. I carried you out in my arms. I showed you the sun, the trees, cactus, corn, and flowers. At night, I showed you the moon and the stars. I sang to you, and when you learned to sing, we sang together. And I told you stories. I remember when you taught me to weave. <laughs> yes, even when you were very little, you liked to sit and help me. You like to touch the loom. I hand you the yarn, yellow, black, red, and then my father made me my own little loom. And I started to weave by myself. Do you remember how you and I played? I would hide and you would try to find me. Then you would hide and I would try to find you. <laughs> you like to hide behind bushes. <laughs> and sometimes I would hide behind that big tree. And one time I climbed the tree and you looked and looked for me. You found me when I started laughing. <laughs> Mama Alma and Bea looked up at their favorite tree. Mama Alma took Bea's hand and they walked by the small river. Yeah, you know how to garden, weave and cook. Children and even grown-ups come to ask you how to cure a sick bird or which herbs help with stomach ache. You are a good teacher. Me? You are my teacher, Mama Alma. You taught me how to do those things. You are the oldest and wisest person in our village. Everyone says that. You and I like our remembering time, Bea. On my little table, I have the beautiful rock my mother loved and a wooden toy my father carved for me when I was little. I love to play with that rock and toy. That is my remembering place. I cannot see my mother and father anymore. 
because our bodies do not live forever. When I hold that rock and toy, I know my parents are always with me. Bea was quiet. She thought about how every year when the leaves turned yellow and fell from the trees, her grandmother put flowers on her table because her mother had loved flowers. I will always be with you, even when you can't see me. But I want to hear and see you too. When you think of our happy times together, you will smile. You will feel me near you, Bea. Every year, when the leaves turn gold and fall from the trees, when clouds nestle between the hills, when evening becomes cool and plants prepare for their winter rest, plan a remembering day. A remembering day? Bea collected flowers and tucked them into her grandmother's braids. Yes, plan a day when you and your family and friends come together. Some families will decorate the table, build a special place inside or outside the house. Everyone can remember the people they loved and still love. Some people will tell stories, some will sing, and some will pray. Will you come for the remembering day and will we see you? Please, please, Mama Alma. We will decorate a table with your weaving and lots of flowers. We can have your favorite foods and I will sing you a little song. Bea and Mama Alma collected their vegetables for dinner. They took them to the small fat shelter where the family cooked. Bea, teach others that when we think about the people we love, they are always with us, even though we, we can't see them. You are a good teacher. Teach people to plan a remembering day. Will you do that year after year? As the months passed and the leaves turned yellow and began to fall from the trees, soon the world was golden and the leaves whirled in the air, decorating the hills. When evenings became cool, Bea covered Mama Alma with a soft blanket. Mama Alma was very weak. She patted Bea's hand. I will always be with you, Bea. Bea climbed into her hammock she shared with her sister. Bea's mother rocked the hammock where Bea was trying to sleep. Her mother knew that Bea and her sister and brothers were sad. That night, Bea woke and saw a tiny light dart through their reed door into the night. Mama Alma had died. How Bea missed her. Bea sat on their favorite rock and thought, I know you are with me, Mama Alma. I know you are with me. The next year, when the leaves turned gold and that night became cool, Bea said to her family, It is time to plan our first remembering day. We can invite everyone in our village to come. Mama Alma was right. I smile now when I think about our happy times in the garden and weaving, telling stories, and singing together. Everyone came to help. That night before the special day, as Bea fell asleep, she whispered, Mama Alma, I miss looking at your face and hearing your voice and feeling you pat my hands gently, but I know you are with me. Bea dreamed that she was 
spring clean orange petals to make a path so Mama Alma would come to her favorite rock. Bea saw the table heaped with Mama Alma's favorite foods, beans, corn tortillas, chiles, and delicious fruits like papaya and pineapple. Bea and her sister sang. Her father played a reed flute and Bea's brother tapped on a drum made from a hollow tree trunk. Bea went to her favorite rock and looked up at the full moon. She looked up at the big tree and there, sitting high on a bough, was Mama Alma smiling at her. The next morning, Bea and her family and their friends enjoyed their first remembering day. Year after year, other families began to re their remembering day tradition too. Every year, Bea helped her family decorate a place to think about their special grandmother. Bea would say, Mama Alma is always with us. And that's the end of our story called The Remembering Day by Pat Mora with the illustrations by Robert Casillas. I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I and hopefully Sitlali enjoyed reading it. What, do you th what did you think, Sitlali? I really liked it. Yeah, it's a good story. What did it make you think about? It made me think about um, a remembering day that happens every year and all the people that passed away in my family. Mm -hmm. Do you have people that you put on a table or something like that? Yep. Do you know what those are called? Um, un, un altar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're called altares. And everyone can make them. You don't have to um, be a certain religion or anything like that. Anyone can do one. Um, as long as you remember your loved ones, they will never, never be far from you. So that's the most important thing to always remember the people who have passed away and that way they're never really gone so thank you again for reading with me i really enjoyed reading with you thank you <laughs>